This winding country road loops lazily through the heart of BC's Okanagan wine country, past over 20 wineries along the Naramata Bench. This unique glacier-formed landscape has long been home to orchards, and now a new crop is taking root. These are some of the uh, oldest grapes in the Naramata Bench. Hillside Winery's Duncan McCowan shares the secret of the area's success. And with the soils and the great reflection off the, the lake, we get uh, a great degree of or high degree days, as we call it, in here. So it makes it one of the best growing areas in the Okanagan for grapes. Poplar Grove founder and chief winemaker Ian Sutherland says the Naramata Bench is like an exclusive club. It's really a tiny viticultural area, like maybe 25 kilometers by sometimes only 100 meters wide. You've got rock on the mountain, a little bit of a glacial deposit that we can grow in, and the lake, and that's it. Lake Breeze is a 12-acre property with vineyard, tasting room, courtyard, and a patio restaurant that encourages you to shift into slow gear. There really is something special, and I think it's a huge reason why all of our staff have stayed for years upon years. There is a magical quality. I just think it's a combination of the incredible lake views, the vineyard, just the charm to the place, the rural road. So this is the courtyard out here. Wow, it's so nice. It's cool out here. It is. There's an incredible diversity of wineries on the Naramata Bench, including Elephant Island, where the wine has an unexpected twist. We specialize in wines made from fruits other than grapes, using traditional processes, but still with the same reverence that traditional wines are made with. Just up the road lies the old family farm of Robert Van Weston. I was born in a house about six stone throws from where we are right now and moved a quarter kilometer when I was eight weeks old. This is my backyard and it's, it's an amazing place. Van Weston has turned an old storage building into a no-frills winery in keeping with his rustic roots. Oh, there it is. It's the diversity on the bench that's so special about coming here. Um, you can find everything from little sheds to beautiful, extravagant buildings. I think that's pretty cool in such a small area. So this is it, this is where the magic happens. At Upper Bench Estate Winery, Shanna Miller has started making cheese to complement her husband Gavin's wine. It's a dream that we've always had. We've tried several times to make it happen and, and, it, and it finally happened. Every turn of the road brings you to a new, um, new treasure on the map. You know, traveling around, looking at other wine regions, and always coming home feeling like, wow, the Naramata Bench. I mean, it produces wines as good as anywhere in the world, and I really love living here. For more information, visit tourismpenticton.com or naramatabench.com. For a big summer on the Naramata Bench, I'm Doug Brown.